I'd like to describe and demonstrate my DIY battery tester. So uh, right here I have a Toyota Prius battery and I frequently hear people describe buying a battery and uh, or a refurbished battery or used battery and thinking it's good and then realizing shortly after it's not good. So the purpose of this tester, which I'll uh, describe and then demonstrate, is not to repair a battery or refurbish a battery, but simply to test a battery. So imagine you're uh, you know, at a junkyard and they have 10 Prius batteries and you want to choose the best one or, or you have someone uh, selling a used battery and they say, you know, this is definitely a good battery. You could take their word for it or it'd be nice to be able to test it. So that's the purpose of this device. What we have here is a uh, big load. So this is a brake from an elevator, it's just a huge high current resistor. We have a charger that's calibrated for the Prius battery. And on top here I have my laptop, which I use for Toyota TechStream. And then fire up the tester and we'll see how it works. Here I'm running Toyota TechStream. I'm gonna connect. I have this big high current switch and forward is charge and back is discharge. And that connects to the load and the charger in this case here. Now I have a little harness I've made that connects to the battery ECU and that you can actually connect directly to the uh, mini VCI, which then leads up to the tech stream. I have a 12 volt power that's uh, you know part of the necessary part of the OBD plug and this little ground clip there and then these high current leads that lead into the tester. So that's more or less what the tester looks like. Now we'll go to HV battery. Okay, so no trouble codes. And the interesting thing about this setup is when you uh, aggressively test the battery, it will still throw a fault code, even though there's not the rest of the car there. That, that battery computer will throw a fault code. Let's look at the best and the worst cell. And let's grab the current. I'm going to put the knife switch forward. The charger just clicked on. What I'm looking at to determine a battery's health is the difference between the best and worst cell. So they're really close. And I can look at them here, 16.3, 16.7. I might think, oh, this is a good pack. Everything's great. I got this used pack. It's going to be fine. Let's let it charge for a second and see what happens. Because that's the point of this tester is to weed out a bad pack from a good pack without having to stick it in the car. Okay, I've disengaged the charger. So now I'm gonna load it in the opposite direction. We'll see our amps are here. I've got zero amps. I just engaged the big load, bam. Right there I can see the cell voltage is spreading out and I've quickly jumped to well over one volt difference between best and worst cell with this heavy, heavy load about 12 amps load. So I'm making this weak cell show itself. And I can smell the heat coming off that load, that big resistive load. It is getting hot quick. And when I break the connection, we'll throw a spark. It is, and that's what this switch is made to handle. So it's gonna recover a little bit, which is normal, but I've already determine that this is a bad pack just because these spread over 1.2 volts. So that's the purpose of the tester, to weed out a bad pack from a good pack without sticking it in the car. Typical data capture you could get from this tester and that tells you a lot about everything that's going on.